What is up, YouTube? This is Damon with LSNL. Thank y'all for checking out today's video. I'm gonna be doing a section of Locked and Loaded. This is episode eight, I believe. It might be nine. Um, I should have had that prepared before I started, but as you see, I'm trying to step my game up, get my little studio tight. So I hope you guys can appreciate some really great and improved content each time I step in front of you guys. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Today, we're talking about my latest um, EDC CCW pistol. I was using the Glock 48 as my dominant pistol, um, which I have since um, abandoned. Now, this I have no complaints about it. I got a couple hundred rounds through it. It works fine. It's um, done everything it's supposed to do. But I was really looking to get a Glock 19. Just to make sure you guys understand, there's no magazine even in the pistol has been safety checked nothing inside of the the well so it's empty i was looking for a glock 19 and for the last seven months haven't been able to find one unless it's a resale which means it's been used people have done whatever they've done to it which isn't bad you can get some great deals on resale my glock 48 was actually a resale i got it from a private seller um, but my upcoming pistol that I'm talking about today, my cp 20 x Compact, I actually went and got that from Vance's, the gun store here in Ohio. And they were down to the last couple, so I was definitely excited that I got in there in time I was able to get one. And let's talk a little bit about that. So this is it, the SIG P320X Compact or RXP. All right, so you might imagine aesthetically once I seen this, I was like, yo, this is the pistol that I need to have. The perfect size for concealed carry with it being a compact pistol. It is a double stack, which means I get a little more firepower than I had in my 48. My 48 had a 10 capacity, yeah, 10 round capacity magazine. Plus you can put one inside of the chamber. This one is a 15 round capacity plus one inside of the chamber. So that's 16 that I get. If you did not pay attention, that was an empty mag that I just placed in the gun. And the gun itself has also been safety checked. There is nothing inside of the chamber. This gun came fresh off the press with everything you see here, except for the Olight Mini 2. If you're not familiar with Sig Sauer pistols, they have a dominating line of pistols. They do a great job. Their P320 is probably their most popular model, especially in the concealed carry community. And I think their M18 just won the military contract here for the United States. It says a lot about the quality of product that they put out and about the usability of the product that they put out. This came with a nitron treated slide, which is definitely a plus and a bonus. Front serrations and rear serrations. So you got your serrations there and your serrations on the front. Depending on how you like to, you know, cock and manipulate your gun, that's definitely a plus. It has dual ambidextrous slides. All right, left hand, right hand, you can get down with it. It also comes with an interchangeable mag release. So that one there can be changed over to this side. If you haven't noticed, a flat facing trigger, which means we get a 90 degree break when it comes to your trigger pull as far as when the gun will fire. So I'll kind of demonstrate that here. Right at 90 degrees, it breaks, it clicks, boom, uh, fire around and go out, you know, the chamber right at 90 degrees. So that flat facing trigger is actually something that a lot of people aftermarket. It has a rail for my weapon, light or laser combo, whatever I'm gonna do. I'm a light man more than a laser man, so I put my PL Mini 2 on there. It also came with X-Ray 3 suppressor height sights. So you can see right there, let me take the cap off. This is the optic. You see through that window and you can see the lime green glow. So it does go on the dark, it has the tritium. So these are night sights, they are suppressor height. So that means they go, they co-witness perfectly with this optic, which actually also came standard with this pistol. So when I took this pistol out the box, it came with everything you see here, minus the light. The light is the only thing that I added extra. Everything else was already on here. So that's a phenomenal package. This actually took the place of my dream gun, the Glock 19, because of price, first of all, the suppressor height sights, getting a flat face trigger, then having to change the internals to fit that. I do not like the Glock grip fresh out of the box. Not that it's terrible, but I personally just didn't care for it. So I put talon grips on my 48. I knew if I got a 19, I was also gonna probably have to put talon grips on that as well. And then the 18, the 19s 
uh, footprint as far as its slide is a little larger, which means the light that I wanted something that sat flush in his pocket and filled all that dead space. So I didn't want um, a light that was like too small or stuck out like this outside of the front of the gun. I didn't want that. I didn't want that. Not saying it looks bad or you know there's anything wrong with it. I just didn't want that. So I was very grateful that this Olight PL Mini 2 fits perfectly flush inside of there. So I got my light going on. I got all of this, including a customized holster and 25 rounds of personal defense ammunition, all for under like $1,200. You can't beat that. You get a pistol that's this versatile, that comes with that many upgrades, all for, you know what I mean, 950 if I'm not mistaken. You add the tax, you add a, a round, I mean a box of critical defense, um, Hornaday ammunition, and a customized holster from my boy Will over at Crossfield Armory. Has just made me a dope customized holster, which I'll be showing here in a separate video because I don't want to kind of cloud this video with too much. But to get all of that for under 1200, definitely beat out my um, dream gun as far as the Glock 19. I honestly, since I got this, I don't even want a Glock 19 anymore. This has definitely taken its spot in my eyes. The question is, can it put me in the most advantageous situation should I have to use this in a deadly force encounter? Um, and that's all I wanted. This proved to be, I think, that happy medium between, you know, over the top customization and between like advantageous position. There's 12 settings on this SIG Romeo 1 Pro. 10 of them are for just like day, daytime use, and then two of them are actually for nighttime use or night vision. So they really throw this thing out from a consumer standpoint and a functionality standpoint. Like I said, it's a great grip, a large beaver tail. They seem to be taking into consideration the feedback that they're getting about previous models, and they've placed them all into this model. I think the future model that's coming out is gonna have the Romeo 2 Pro on it. So that's gonna be dope. Um, and who knows what else they're changed from there. A lot of people are complaining about the slide releases being too large. You see how far they stick out from the gun. Now, that's an easy fix, you know, for us to melt it or bend it in. You know, there's, there's plenty of ways that we can fix that, but um, I think that the company moving forward is probably going to fix that issue as well. The P320 has been one of their staple sellers and versatile. You can actually switch the slides out from a couple of the other SIG models and have a completely different gun without switching the frame of your gun, without switching the trigger management system. Definitely happy and pleased with this purchase. So that's about it for today, guys. Didn't want to load you guys up with too much. I want to thank you guys again for coming and checking out this channel, checking out Locked and Loaded, checking out LSNL. I appreciate the support about some of the other stuff dealing with guns and lock lifestyle. All right, peace.